In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how creators make money online and specifically how much money I make from creating YouTube videos. I think that people get a lot of different ideas about how people make money on YouTube that are very, very incorrect. The bottom line is that it's a very complex subject and there's so many different ways to make money that everyone's revenue is going to be different in some way. And I don't really think you can properly speculate about how much a creator is making unless you're physically creating the content yourself. Now, I know money is a very sensitive subject to many people, um, and before I get into the video, I do wanna say that I don't think anyone should ever feel pressure to talk about money or finances. Um, it's, you know, it's private information, and just because a creator is producing content that's viewable to an audience, it does not mean they are somehow indebted to share information about their earnings. I do think that creators have a legal and ethical responsibility to share information when products or videos are sponsored by brands, um, but they shouldn't need to disclose how much money they're making from that partnership. And in many cases, that would be a breach of the contract they have with the brand. And on top of that, if you're working with a brand that you respect and you're publicly sharing information about your earnings with that brand, you know, that's honestly not something you would ever do in a business situation and it's bad business. So there's a lot of factors that go into being fully transparent, um, but I'm going to do my best to relay real information to you. I'm going to show you a bunch of analytics and statistics from my Google AdSense page. Um, I've picked out eight different videos to give you a pretty accurate representation of how I'm generating money and hopefully this information is helpful for you. So in today's video, I'm going to be focusing only on AdSense, which is money generated from monetized videos on YouTube. And if you guys want a separate video on how brand partnerships work and all of that stuff, then I'm happy to talk about that. But if I talk about both in the same video, I just think it's going to be information overload and just too much information at once. Um, now to quickly explain how AdSense works or monetization, this basically entails being a YouTube partner. And once you're a partner, you personally control what content of yours is monetized. But just because you're monetizing a video does not mean you're going to be making money from that video, which is what you will see shortly once we get to all of the analytics. Something else to consider is that there are different ways to advertise within one specific video. Even though we have control over what types of ads are in our videos and where they're placed throughout the video, we do not have control over the content in the advertisements. The technology that YouTube uses to screen videos and determine which ads are appropriate is extremely advanced and I cannot even fully explain it except to tell you that it's probably based on just a huge mass accumulation of statistics and data from the past. So your videos aren't being reviewed by a person manually, they're being screened by Google's system, like artificial intelligence. The other thing to consider is that monetization is both consistent and very inconsistent. As long as you're creating content and it is monetized, you're going to be continually accruing revenue in some way on those monetized videos. However, it's inconsistent because that money is going to vary dramatically and two videos that have the same amount of views and the same watch time can generate a significantly different amount of revenue. So now that I've kind of given you a rundown, we're gonna get right into some numbers, which I know is what you guys have all been waiting for. And last but not least, before we get started, I have created a Patreon page this week. If you wish to support me outside of YouTube, a lot of you have requested this, and if you wanna know how all of that works, I will leave the link to my Patreon page below, as well as a general overview of where I'm going with that. Um, okay, by the way, if you haven't realized by now, I have a cold and um, I'm kind of like sniffly and stuff. All right, we have moved to my bed where all of the analytical magic happens and I am precariously going to balance my camera and I have my computer over here and I'm going to talk you through all of these videos. Okay, I have just entered my creator studio, which lets me edit videos and look at all of my analytics. And you can see these are all of the videos I've publicly posted on my YouTube channel. And if I scroll down, I can click on any one of these videos and see my analytics for that specific 
video. Um, the first video I'm going to show you is this ASMR video that just recently hit 1 million views because I think that's a good starting place. And I'll click on it and then I'll click on my analytics and you can see my views, watch time, how many subscribers I gained from that video, and my estimated revenue. I prefer to look at the chart this way because you can kind of see where the money was made. Um, my total earnings from this video are $3,512.66. This is a video I published on August 28th, and if we hover over any day on the graph, we can see how much money was generated from each day. So the first day this video was posted, I made $440.11. The second day I made $292.46, and then it just continues to go down after that. The important thing to note here is that you make the largest percentage of revenue in the first few days of posting a video. And that's really important because if any of your videos get demonetized or age restricted, things like that, then you lose out on a tremendous amount of money like the bulk of the revenue you were going to earn from that video you're no longer able to earn even if you are able to refute that that demonetization claim you can't get that money back so the first few days of a video i would say the first week are the most important to the video's success as far as earnings go and then after that the video will continue to accrue money um, but it's going to be a much smaller amount each day. And as we go further down the line, you'll see that it just continues to get a little bit less and less. But I am still making money each day from this video. Let's see where it's at now. Now that we're into December, my earnings from this video are less than $20 a day, which might not seem like a lot, but over time, that really can add up to be a lot of money, which is how this video has already earned over $3,000. Now, if you're thinking that $3,500 is a lot of money from one video, I absolutely agree with that. And this is not like a good, accurate representation of how much a video will make from 1 million views. This is definitely an outlier of a well-performing video. And when I take you through some of the other videos, you're going to see what I'm talking about. But if we scroll down a little bit more, um, you can see more information about your video. If you click on the revenue tab, you can also see the sources of your revenue and what percentage of that is coming from YouTube premium members and just all types of information, which ads are generating the most money for your video. Another big factor for me is that I don't place ads in the middle of ASMR content. So somebody who's placing ads throughout their video is going to be making a lot more money than someone who's only placing one ad before or after a video. Okay, moving on, I'm going to go back to a video that I posted when I first started my YouTube channel and show you how it is possible to make a good amount of money from a video over time, even if that video doesn't make a lot of money to begin with. For those of you guys who have been around uh, since I was making these types of videos, thank you. So I'm gonna go into analytics and I can see my overview and I'll click on revenue. Um, and then I'll click on lifetime of this video. Now, I posted this on January 24th, 2011. Wow. And my total revenue for the video was $1,460.30. The video has almost a million views, similar to the last video I showed you guys, but my revenue is significantly less. The most this video ever made in one day was $2.39. And then over time, it's just made basically cents or dollars every day. I mean, not even dollars, less than dollars. This is just very small increments of money. But after you know being up for nine years, I've still managed to make a decent amount of money from this video. Now the way that AdSense was structured back then was a lot different than it is now, and creators were making money in a much different way. I do think it's important to just show you guys this because I think people can get really discouraged sometimes when they're creating videos and not seeing that financial return, but it's still possible to make a decent amount of money over a long period of time. Now granted, this is definitely a really long period of time. Here's another video I made back in the day. It was posted over nine years ago and my total earnings have been $1,121.16. And it's the same type of thing, just making 
cents every day for the last nine years. You know, I'm I'm satisfied with a thousand dollars because these videos were filmed on my MacBook with just absolutely bad production. Um, thank you guys for supporting those. So now I'm going to show you what happens when a video gets demonetized. Um, this is a great example. This unfortunately happens often to ASMR content. This is a video I made um, maybe sometime last year. This video has over 700,000 views, which is not quite a million, but it's definitely up there. And since I've uploaded this video, it has made $222.35. Now, unfortunately, even when videos are manually reviewed after they're demonetized, they're not always correctly screened. This was a video that I feel was incorrectly demonetized and I have refuted videos multiple times but it's just a really frustrating process um, and if you're thinking that $200 is still a lot of money to make for one video, I would say it's not that much because it probably took me three days to shoot, edit, and finalize this video, and the amount of hours I, I put into this video would come out to definitely less than minimum wage when you break it down. I mean, you know, it's all, it's all relative to your perspective, I guess, but I've basically been making 30 cents, 20 cents a day on this video since it was published, and it still added up to a couple hundred bucks, but it's for sure not my best performing video and it is unfortunate when you know videos that don't have inappropriate content get demonetized it really sucks for creators now i'm going to move over to some vlog style videos that were posted more recently so you guys can get an understanding of the difference between different types of videos i would say asmr videos are always going to generate more revenue if they are monetized than a vlog because people are watching for a longer duration. And I don't know, maybe it has to do with the click throughs and just all of the analytics, but vlogs just never do as well. Even if you have a vlog that has a million views, I don't know, it, they just don't ever do as well for me. This is a video I posted in May of this year. It has almost 200,000 views and my revenue is $145.30. Going back to the graph, you can see the majority of this money was still made on the first couple days after posting. Um, yeah, you know, I think people really overestimate how much money creators make in general. Uh, there's definitely potential to make money here. Do not get me wrong. I'll touch base on that at the end of this video, but I think people see the views and they just assume that we're making tons of money, um, but that is very far from true in a lot of cases. And I would say our money mostly comes from just those small earnings over time. And if you have a lot of videos, that is going to add up to be sometimes a significant amount of money over a long period of time. Here's a vlog of mine that did better than most vlogs on my channel, probably because my friend Phoebe was in it, and I know a lot of people are big fans of her. She's a really talented actress and just a really cool person. This video made $837.61, and it was posted about a year and a half ago. Again, it's not like I made any crazy amount of money right when it was posted. The most I ever made from this video, let's see, was $48.42 in a day. This video has over half a million views and I am almost certain it's the most I've made from any vlog on my channel. Like, I'm definitely positive. Okay, here's a video that has around the same amount of views as the last vlog. It has 626,000 views, so over half a million, and I've made $64.40 from this video because it was age restricted, which means um, you have to confirm that you're over 18 in order to watch it. And as a result, it's exempt from most monetization, even though I did monetize the video when I uploaded it. So even when a video is demonetized, occasionally you will make a little bit of revenue from the video, but generally it completely kills the chances of that video being like really lucrative in any way. Another thing about this video, even if it was eligible for monetization, is that it's only one minute long, which is a very short period of time to advertise so there's going to be like less money generated from advertisements anyways when your video is so short the last video i want to show you guys is a q a that i did about relationships this was posted a couple of months ago the video has 115,000 views and my revenue is 106 dollars and i actually lost subscribers from this video people 
were not stoked on it. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, um, it's funny. Sometimes vlogs are really unpopular. I mean, I know my content is really mixed, but people get mad at the vlogs. That's pretty much all I'm going to show you in this video, which is already very long. Hopefully all of the information I shared with you was interesting and eye-opening in some way. I wanted to touch on a couple additional pieces of information before I let you guys go. And I know a lot of you are going to be wondering why I didn't share my analytics from any of my ASMR massage videos. And I did this for two reasons. The first is that the analytics are so incredibly varied and showing you some of the analytics would not really give you a full idea of how those videos generate money because it's kind of like a crapshoot, honestly. You never really know whether they're gonna get demonetized or whether they will be suitable for advertisements. So some of those videos have made absolutely no money and some of them have made decent money um, and there's no like clear pattern at all. I also just felt like it would be inappropriate because I've had a lot of friends come on my channel to participate in those videos. Um, they do not pay to be on my channel and I do not pay them. It's like a fun experience for both of us and it's content that I really enjoy creating. I'm not trying to be shady in any way. It just feels like it could maybe evoke some negative feelings. Like if someone sees that their video did well and then someone else sees that their video didn't make any money and I just wouldn't want it to create any like tension or negativity. So that's the reason that I didn't share any of those analytics and hopefully you guys understand. And the reason that I'm not sharing how much money I make on a monthly basis is one, I again feel it's inappropriate because some people would feel that it's a little and some people would feel that it's a lot. It really depends on your perception of money and probably on where you're living and what the cost of living is like in your area. And going back to that fact of consistent inconsistency, it's never really the same, and even if I'm putting out the same amount of videos every single month, my revenue is going to vary dramatically from month to month. So sometimes I have good months, and sometimes I have bad months, and it just really varies. I see a lot of sites that have made predictions about how much creators are making, and generally I would say the information is totally incorrect, and it's just based on some kind of statistics that aren't reflective of that person's content. I do think there is the potential to make a great salary on YouTube, but it's a lot harder than people think. Um, it's a lot harder to generate consistent revenue and income, but it can be done, and of course, a lot of people use brand sponsorships and partnerships as like, you know, subsidiary income to their AdSense money. I would venture to say that most YouTubers with a larger platform are making a far larger amount of money from brand deals than from their AdSense alone. If you have any additional questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them. Um, if you guys would like me to make a video on brand sponsorships, which is an entirely different animal, let me know below and I'll definitely work on a video explaining that as well because that's also something that's much more complex than it looks. A little bit less on the analytical side, but there's a lot of factors that go into that too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me. If you are joining me over on Patreon, thank you so much. I'm already just overwhelmed by the amount of people who have joined and I'm really looking forward to that little community we're building over there. I will talk to you guys very soon in my next video and I will see you then. Sorry, one last thing. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube showing analytics where one particular video will generate like $40,000 in revenue. And I'm sure this happens every day on YouTube, but these are major outliers and definitely not a reflection of what the vast majority of creators are making per video on YouTube. So don't let this information skew your knowledge. This has never happened to me in my entire life. If it did, that would be cool and I welcome it, but it hasn't to this day and I would be really surprised if it did. Okay, that's all. Goodbye.